All right, my friends, welcome back to War Thunder Ground Forces with the Angry Nerd. And today, I thought we'd take a look at the French Lorraine 37L. Now, the Lorraine 37L, or the Tracteur de Ravitaillement pour Char 1937L, translating as Tank Supply Tractor 37L, was a light tracked armored vehicle developed by the Lorraine Company during the interwar period between the First and Second World Wars. In April 1936, the French Army issued a requirement for a fully armored munition and fuel supply carrier to be used by tank units for frontline resupply. This was intended to replace the Renault 36R tractor, which was only partially armored in frontline operations. In early 1937, the Lorraine Company finished the prototype. In February 1937, the Material Commission was ordered to test the prototype and to complete an evaluation before the 1st of November 1937. The prototype was presented on 9 July and tested until the 4th of August. It was equipped with a 2,371 cc four-cylinder engine. The vehicle attained a maximum speed of 30 kilometers an hour or 19 miles per hour, but this dropped to an unacceptably low 22.8 kilometers per hour or 14.2 miles per hour when the intended fuel trailer was attached. It was therefore returned to the factory and a more powerful engine when a stronger clutch were fitted. The modified vehicle was tested between the 22nd of September and the 29th of October and achieved a desired 35 kilometers an hour or 22 miles per hour. The commission approved the vehicle in late 1937, being especially impressed with the rugged suspension system. A prototype was built in 1937 and in 1938 several orders were issued totaling 552 requested units. The first vehicle was delivered by the Lorraine Company on 11 January 1939. 212 had been delivered by September 1st, 1939. After the outbreak of war, ambitious plans made for increasing the number of armored divisions meant that the Lorraine 37 orders had to be enlarged accordingly, bringing the total ordered to 1,012. Only 432 vehicles had been delivered to the Army by the 10th of May 1940, the start of the German invasion of France. Production continued after that date and an estimated total of between 480 and 490 had been reached by the 25th of June 1940, the end of the Battle of France. After the defeat of France, clandestine manufacturing was continued in Vichy, France, culminating in a small AFV production after the liberation and bringing the total production to about 630 in 1945. One early lesson of World War II was that towed anti-tank guns were rarely in the right place at the right time and were frequently lost during unanticipated fast battlefield shifts. Self-propelled guns were much more effective in a mobile combat environment. During the German invasion of France, the French army suffered heavy losses, especially when it came to its armored vehicles. The Lorraine 37 crews quickly saw the need for some armament and began to improvise machine gun mounts on their vehicles. And several urgent attempts were made to create improvised combat vehicles from resources already available to French engineers in order to bolster the strength of the French army. One of these projects was a conversion of the Lorraine 37 tractor into a tank destroyer by fitting it 
with a 47 millimeter SA-37 anti-tank gun. The Lorraine 37L Tank Hunter was developed quickly in May 1940 in response to desperate requests from frontline units for ways to increase their defensive mobility. The conversion took little time with the prototype being ready in just a few weeks. However, by the time construction was completed, France had already fallen, and as a result, the prototype never saw combat action and was instead captured by German forces following the occupation. A considerable number of Lorraine tractors, about 360, fell into German hands. The Germans found that due to its reliability, it was well suited to their mobile tactics. And as the Germans themselves had not produced a similar type, the Lorraine tractors filled a requirement for a fully tracked supply vehicle serving the Wehrmacht as the Gefechtsfeldversorgungsfahrzeug Lorraine 37LF. The Germans found the Lorraine 37 so useful that they also converted them into several different combat vehicles, including the 75mm Pac-40 mounted Martyr 1, as well as several versions of self-propelled artillery. Now in War Thunder Arcade, the Lorraine 37L is located in the French Tech Tree. It is a rank 1 tank destroyer with a battle rating of 1.3. It has a 122 horsepower engine propelling the 7.2 ton vehicle to a top speed of 23.4 miles per hour. Its main armament is a 47 mm SA-37 cannon with a maximum ammo load of just 22 rounds. It has no secondary armament. Now I have it assigned to an expert crew with a crew level of 150, which gives me a reload of 3.2 seconds. So what do I think of the Lorraine 37L here in War Thunder Arcade? Well, I mean, if you like a glass cannon, you'll like this vehicle. But just as with all other lightly armored vehicles in Arcade, they present their own challenges because Arcade, you have target markers, which means everyone can see you as long as you're spotted by at least one friendly player. So concealment is not your friend. You cannot hide behind bushes or anything else. You must have cover, hard cover, to keep from getting killed. Once you have hard cover, this 47 millimeter has very good penetration and excellent post penetration damage even without an HE filler. It has very good depression and traverse arc which means being stationary you may not have to move the hole as much because you have good traverse left and right on the weapon. Now three of your crew members are completely exposed so artillery and aircraft are extremely dangerous to you and you only have 22 rounds if you live long enough to expend those 22 rounds you want to make sure that you're not cut off from a friendly cap where you can resupply that being said why don't we hop in a game and see what i was able to do with the lorraine 37l here we go all right, we picked up Eastern Europe. Oh. Okay. Let's see what we're going to do with Eastern Europe. I would much prefer have been to have been the western side of the map could have come up to my favorite spot up on the hill but we'll see see what we can do 
coming from the eastern side. Still going to head south. Just not quite as much protection up this way. But we'll see what we can find. There's a couple of little hills up here. I'm sure y'all have seen me come up this way before, but hey, it could be somebody's first time watching. We have a nice little run. Hopefully, we will not get taken out on the way up here. Oh, the late night gamings. Oh, I can be on. All right. There's a Panzer 4C. Oh, eat it there. But this is probably not the best place for me to stop. But, you know. Pending. Those SU 122s are pretty hard to pin from the front, but this thing's got really good penetration and a good rate of fire. And I didn't hit that little bitty vehicle not once. Hands are three right there. Nope. Is he going to pull forward? Oh. I stopped him. Another hit. Just can't get through to the turret crew. Let's hit this guy. Good pin on him. There we go. Come back to this guy. Got him. Now watch out, that's a friendly airplane. I have the option of taking something, but I don't know. I need to get behind some cover. Oh, it's gone. Only got eight rounds left. Come back down here. See if we can replenish those rounds. Never want to get stuck too far out where you can get cut off from a friendly cat. You only have 22 rounds and this thing can fire at like, I don't know, three point, three and a half seconds or something like that. I don't have it memorized right off the top of my head, but you can go through your 22 rounds pretty quickly. And look here, I'm going to get a bombing run while we're sitting here. We're topped off with rounds. We should be all right, right here for now. We've got 12 bombs. I'm gonna look and see if I can find congregations of tanks. Um, if this was a higher tier, I would be looking for vehicles that I would have a hard time destroying with my gun. I still got some bombs left after that run. Woo! Woo! <laughs> oh, look at that. Isn't 
goodness gracious. I need to go play some lottery numbers. MEK-72, he's pretty vulnerable to bombs. And I'm out. Man, that was a good bombing run. Five vehicles, I think. All right, we're gonna cross this little ditch here. Try to get up here and get some more flanking shots. Got enemy fighters in the air. I'm gonna keep a kind of eye on them on the mini map. And one is kind of behind me right now. Oh, there's an anti-aircraft uh, vehicle approaching. He's very dangerous. Got his engine. Oh, he got my gunner. He got my gunner. I think this is it. Oh, he's killed my entire crew. Except for the driver. Who... How'd he die? How did he die? It says that I killed him. But he died before my gunner got replaced. I have no idea. All right. I need to go buy a lottery ticket. Um, for real. I have five vehicles on the bombing run and this dude just died after a shot to the engine. Maybe burn up. I don't know what happened, but he was definitely gonna kill me. <laughs> Ooh, that was lucky. All right. If you don't see any more videos from me, um, I won the lottery. You'll probably still see videos from me though, to tell you the truth. Anyway, we got some backup vehicles. Not sure that I would use those. Let's take a quick look at the player statistics. All right. Okay, awards, base defender, rank does not matter. Avenger, double strike, triple strike, triple strike, ground force rescue, shadow strike streak, multi-strike. Um, ground multi-strike, one shot, adamant, safe bomber, assist, tank rescuer, professional, survivor, and heavy metal fury, and on hand. Hiding out down there at the bottom. All right. Let's see. What these are for, we came in first place. 93% battle activity. Not too bad. Not too bad. I should have died though. That AA vehicle should have killed me. Alright, we picked up Japan. Oh, we are on the northern side of the map. Which means I'm probably going to go down and cover A what I like to do. I swear the the main thing about being halfway decent at this game is you know it's less about what vehicle you're driving sometimes and more just about um, where you position said vehicle. Kind of want an overwatch position with good cover at least in arcade mode you know concealment is different than cover concealment hides you from sight but not necessarily enemy fire concealment um cover hides you from enemy fire but you know it could also not be concealment if you think of like maybe you know bulletproof glass that would be 
cover, but not necessarily concealment. Not that you got bulletproof glass out here, but. Oh, here we go, M2A2. Okay, we got a good hit on him. And we finished him off. There's somebody else behind the house right there. What is it? A13. Got a good hit on him. Another hit on him. Just a little bit. Need to move a little bit more. There we go. House. That's the perfect example of concealment, but not cover there. This poor guy has neither cover nor concealment. All right, we got him, and we have the opportunity for a bombing run. And I don't want to stay sitting here. I want to get out of the way. Hopefully where I cannot be seen or shot. So come back down this little valley. Hopefully I got far enough away. I don't know. I'm looking. Got four bombs. Everybody looks like they're moving. Kind of want stationary targets. Let's try this guy. This guy. Down here. Alright. Get back in the vehicle here. Ooh, I did just barely get. Far, oh, artillery. Run away! Run away! Run away from artillery. Got a good hit on him. Well, didn't get him. Got ten rounds left. eight rounds left and I got two vehicles coming toward me. It's four rounds per vehicle, I guess. See. Oh no. Artillery. I don't want to die to artillery now, so... Somebody coming this way. Oh, they didn't kill him. There we go. Got five rounds left. Head back up to the A cap. See if we can cap it and get some more rounds. Looks like we still got a good bit of this game left. Maybe this guy will have it completely capped by the time I get up here and I can just go ahead and start getting rounds. Oh shoot. LBT. Good, got his gun crew. Got him. I got two rounds left. Oh, 
and a bomber available but I want to make sure I get in this cap I don't want to be sitting All right we're going to take out a bomber and get some rounds at the same time it's like having your cake and eating it too I definitely don't need any cake Swear I'm fat as a cow. Alright, two bombs. Let's try to clear up this B point a little bit. And maybe, maybe this guy on the C point. Alright. this way and see if we can kind of support the B point. I'm going so slow. 10 miles an hour, come on. Oh no, somebody's going to the A point. Dang it, man. Let's see if we can see him. Decapped us. He did decap us. We're gonna take this air battle. We're gonna try to get this cat back. Oh, I may have selected it too soon. Get in here. Get in it. No! Dang it! Selected the air battle just a little bit too soon and didn't get in the cap point. Alright. We'll, we'll go get in the cap point now. have time to cap. Hope so. Maybe I got the cap, I don't know. Alright, we came in second place in the team. Let's take a look at the awards. Tank Rescuer. Without a miss. I don't know, I missed a lot. Avenger. Base Defender, Ground Force Rescuer, Professional, Shadow Strike Street, Multi Strike, Final Blow, Survivor, and Heavy Metal Hero. I missed that BD file on like four shots. Destroyed 12 enemy vehicles. Second place in the team. 95 percent battle activity all right we'll take that oh right 
There you have it. The Lorraine 37L Tank Destroyer. Very lightly armored. Really good gun. Quick rate of fire. Limited ammo. Don't know what else to say. Yes, I do. Angry Nerd merchandise is now available for my Patreon supporters. Just select the tier of support that corresponds with an item that you like and you can have some Angry Nerd gear. Link to my Patreon page down in the description below. Thanks for your support. And now, please take a look at these ending credits so you can see the people who make this channel possible. Thank you so much. Nerd out.